How we doing guys? Uh, this is the next part I suppose of the video um, regarding the blonde, uh, the wee blonde I think I'll call it um, but I'm gonna do a gravity check just now and then also do my dry hop uh, the tilt's showing that it's, um, it's flat lined out I'll show you something just up here so you can have a look at it um, and you can see that it's had quite a good uh, fermentation at the start off. Um, I've then raised the temperature um, to match uh, to give it a kind of diastole rest or a, a kind of um, just to give it a kind of to, to finish out and clean up itself for a, a few days. And then what I've done is I've taken it down to 18 uh, to let it have a wee rest uh, to, to condition as such. Um, so. Yeah, and now it's been another kind of well after that, and I thought, right, times the now's the time to do the dry hop. We <laughs> still from in there actually. We'll leave that to to go for another week. Yeah, so the hop drop that I just did um, was. 25 grams of Cascade and then it was 35 grams of Citra so that gave us 60 grams total uh, for the dry hop. Okay, well I think that concludes it. I've had a check with the hydrometer there and it's sitting at actually at 10, 16, 17 so the tilt's actually pretty bang on. So it's quite high actually after two weeks almost so hope the hops, the dry hopping sometimes gives it, I think I've got issues maybe with oxygen or what, I don't know, it's not getting enough oxygen, um, so hopefully that will fix, it'll put some, it can strip the oxygen off the hops um, and let it go again sort of thing, sometimes that works. Um, I have bought a water aerator, so uh, maybe that'll fix it. Um, and I've also picked up another colony as well, so I can use that for conditioning now as well. So that's quite good. Pitchy. I've been uh, upside my HL teapot that I managed to pick up ridiculously cheap um, during the Black Friday, and I got some discounts on it as well on the top of the Black Friday. So I'm not saying how much it was, but it was ridiculously cheap. Um, got a mega pot, 30 litre one, so I'm just drilling holes. I've drilled the hole for the tap and also for the element. Well, not well I've drilled pilot holes. What I'm doing is I'm using uh, these punches, which are brilliant. So I've got one for the element type and I've got one for taps. Um, so yeah, all good. So I'm just doing that now. I'm just going to drill another hole here for the, the um, sensor. All right. I thought I'd just give an update on what's happening now. Um, I've added 50 grams of mosaic hops um, about four or five days ago now, so it's been dry hopping. Uh, I've now cold crashed it um, and it's now going to get ready for kegging the next day. So hopefully it'll be good. How are we doing? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keg it up. The, I'm going to keg the blonde. Do there we go. Right. God, it smells lovely in there. The temperature's here. Two degrees. Crash Childer, uh, the other two nights ago. And so now I'm gonna, I've just got my hydrometer here. I'm just gonna dunk it in. I know you're gonna say about oxygenization and all that, but I don't have a trial jar yet. Uh, I've got one ordered. But uh, I just want to check and see what it looks like and um, see what kind of gravity I've got. Good, it's all dropped. 10, 12. So 10, 12. That's what we're looking at, which is good. Right, okay, so kegging. Um, what shall we do? Okay, so time to keg the beer. I've purged the, my corny of gas, uh, with gas, CO2. Um, so I'm 
So that's that. Can we stand for this thing? There we go. Uh, sanitize. Sanitize the top of the keg. So there's always a pain in the butt. Here we go, just take it in, so filling up quite happily. Well, that's going. Um, I thought I'll actually also show you the the final of the HLT or kind of final as it is just now as it stands. I still need to do the numbering and all that for my. Uh, water level. There it is. Um, this used to have the temperature probe the, that went to the Raspberry Pi and what it was, it was it's, I felt like it was blocking the flow in here because the, the tube is too thick and it was causing issues whereas this is quite narrow this thermometer. And what I've done is I've transferred the temperature probe for the mash tun temperature actually onto the mash tun now and taking, so I've just basically taken that temperature dial off the side of the mash tun and I've added it on here. Yeah, that's my new bigger mega pot um, HLT, which is good. That's good, man. Really nicely, delicious. Bet you've forgotten something though. Hey ho. Okay, it literally just kicked there, so that's it. Lids on, and uh, I don't know if we can see anything actually. See what's left. There we go. So, aye, perfect. God, these things are blooming heavy, aren't they? Okay. And post. The other one shut. Gas in. Purge. One, two, three. That'll do. It smells amazing. Hey, yeah, that's her. Um, I think what now we'll do is we'll force carb um, to 40 psi because. I'm going to try a sucker and I've got friends coming around tomorrow, so I'd quite like to have this ready for then. But it's not going to be ready, I'll make condition, won't it? But you know what I mean. Okay, let's do it. Just need a screwdriver for the 40 psi. Move this bike out of the way. Oh, it's a bit spacey. There we go, 40. Yes, sir. Right, hundred times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, next, seven, next, eight, next, nine, one hundred. See that? Ten, eleven. Yes, I. Now do. I think that's it. Let's pull off the little oh, back up. And back on. Not pulling it too that much. Just have a quick look. Right, I'll do it. Right, obviously this isn't the best glass, but... Um, hey. That's what I'd expect with 50 grams of mosaic chopped in. 
chopped them, chopped them. <laughs> yes, that is delish. very reminiscent of the uh, coconut shy for some reason, actually. It's very light, refreshing, with that kind of tropical uh, backbone with uh, this mosaic, citra, cascade. So obviously it's going to be quite light actually, the uh, coconut because that's got cascade and mosaic in it so this one's got wheat uh, marisota carapels I'm sure was in it as well oh boom I think when this cleans up a wee bit of conditioning it's going to be dynamite, man. Oh, I'm not going to stop drinking this. It's going to be... Oh, I'm so glad with that. That's so good. That was using the Belgian ale yeast. Which I'm probably not allowing to shine through because of all the hops I put into it and the dry hop in the end, but... Yes. 100 backwards and forwards with 40 psi, boom, force carb. Um, I'm going to leave it for a bit. I, I quite like it, it's, it's got wheat in it, so I don't mind it being quite hazy. Um, so I'll probably not bother the gelatin, just let it clear, clear itself over time. Oh, juicy banger. <laughs> that is so juicy. So light, it's it's not got um, it's yeah, it feels very light in the tongue. Actually, it's quite refreshing, very uh, sessionable. Anyway, cheers, guys. See you later.